Hello everybody, it's Cobalt here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is sort of going to be a little bit of a deep dive, a comparison, and an unboxing. Because essentially I'm going to be taking a look at various G7 LPS sets from different countries and comparing how the international packaging and pets may differ depending on where you live. So without further ado, let's get right on into it, starting off with the smallest of the sets. Alright, so first off we have our two single packs. Now this one I'm sure most of you guys recognize because I think the majority of my audience is from the United States and this is the the classic LPS blind box. This box is empty by the way, I just kept it as a little keepsake. But on the bottom you can see the distributors here are Basic Fun and Hasbro as expected with these new sets. And I absolutely love the blind box packaging design that we have here. Although in a lot of European countries the blind box pets are actually packaged like this. Now obviously the specific pet that I have is not a blind box pet. This is actually a pet that in the United States and Canada and most other countries comes in a five pack. And I'll explain why that's the case in a minute. But all of the 18 pets that you see here on the back of the American blind box come in packages like this as well. Now I want to quickly highlight and shout out this comment that I received on a video where I actually received this set because I just thought it was super interesting and actually gives me knowledge as to why this specific pet is packaged in this way. So this is a comment from a person who lives in Germany and they said that in Germany they actually get this Pomeranian for free with every blind box that they buy which is so interesting and I guess explains why I've seen this one floating around in the internet at the most although like I'm so jealous man I wish we had that here and I just think that this is such a cool new inbox set to have and as a little comparison here is what the back of both of them look like so again you can see both of the pets here there's a couple other blind boxes that have slightly different packaging varying on where you are but this is the only comparison that I can make and of course again if you look at the information here with distributors not only do you have basic fun and Hasbro but you also have Bandai which is the company that helps distribute Littlest Pet Shops internationally and you will see that on the bottom of all of the rest of these sets that I have to show you. So now moving on to the next packs. Of course now we have the pet pair sets. Right off the bat these packages look pretty much identical and I would like to give a quick shout out to my friend M who sent me this set. Thank you very much. But anyways this is the original American version that I purchased and this one is from the UK. Again for starters they look pretty similar. Now there are some notable differences that I would like to point out on the front of the package. For starters this set does not have the little hanging sign here that labels this as the Diving Diva set. This warning is also so only on the American version, not here. And on the American version, this one is called a pet pair set, while this one only says two pets on it. Then of course this says one code and this says virtual code. Something else that I want to point out is you can see here we have the panda that appears in all the packages, but on this one the panda is slightly different. This is more of a drawing, whereas this is more of a 3D model, and I just thought that that was strange and I'm not exactly sure why that is the case, because looking at the other international sets that I have already shown and will show later in the video, this is the only one that actually has the panda up here like this. So now let's take a look at the back. And the backs look pretty much identical. Obviously you can see here this one was labeled in pounds, but I'm really not noticing anything different aside from the things listed here just because it is showing more languages on this set. And here is what the bottom looks like. Again, you can see Bandai as the distributor for the UK set. All right, the setup looks totally ugly now. Sorry about that. But I had to zoom out to show you both of these in frame. But next up we have the three packs or pet tubes of the City Vibe set. So again, this one here is one that I purchased here in the United States, and the other one was actually sent to me by Basic Fun. But as you can see here on the language, it is not written in English. This is written in French, so I believe that this is most likely a Canadian set. So other than the language being different in some cases, they're actually both referred to as a pet trio. So you can see it listed here, and then on the other one, it is listed here below the panda. Slightly different format, but same information. Again, this one says virtual code, while this one just says one code. And and again, this one has like a little arrow here where this one doesn't, which I think is interesting. It seems like something that would be common between each packaging. Like I completely understand the language is being different, but I'm just wondering why there's like subtle differences like that. But the general information and the images on the back are all the same. Again, this one just has more other languages on it. They both say series one. I'm actually going to open this set and see if I notice anything different about what comes inside. All right, so everything about the pets and the way that they are packaged is completely identical to any other set that I've opened. And these are all identical as well. Although there is something that I actually want to point out about the checklist. So here's the collector guide that comes in this Canadian set. You can see here again it says collector's guide and then we have the same information written in a couple different languages. This is actually a collector's guide that I opened from a UK set. Again, graciously sent to me by my friend M. And you can see this one actually has a lot more different languages written on it. And the formatting of the panda is slightly different. You can see a little bit more of its foot here. I'm not sure if that's just like a printing defect, but that is something 
something that I wanted to point out, and the formatting on the back of this is also a little bit different. And the third checklist is the American one that also says Collector's Guide, but it's sort of framed here, and it has no other languages. The piece that says Series 1 is also a little bit different. And once again, here is what the formatting on the back looks like. The only other thing about the checklist that I'm finding slightly different is this page. All of the actual pets and general layout is again the same, but here's the page that advertises the Roblox game and says that there's 65 pets to collect. The one I'm holding here at the top is the Canadian version, which is most similar to the United States version, and the one below is the UK version. And the only difference with the American version is that 65 pets to collect is written much bigger and in a slightly different layout to the others, but those are the only things that I noticed about the checklist. It's honestly something that I had no idea would be different, but now looking at them I can kind of see why that's the case. Alright, so now moving on to the piece of the video that I am the most excited about, and pretty much the entire reason why I am filming this in the first place. In my most recent video, I unboxed every single LPS pet pair sets, there's three of them, but what you may not have known is that there is actually a European exclusive variant to each of the sets, and that is what I'm going to be taking a look at now behind me. Again, struggling to fit them all in frame, but here are all three of the sets, and right off the bat, they still look pretty similar with no direct comparison, but what I will draw your attention to here is this dog's bow. It does not have glitter like the original one does, it is actually metallic instead. So here you can see that little comparison, which is very, very cool, but of course let's do one more comparison of the boxes. Alright, so here's the only one of the three sets that I can actually directly compare because I happen to have an extra one of this one, and I think the biggest difference between these two sets is that this one is way bigger than this one. It's got like maybe this much height on it still. Before purchasing this one, I had no idea that the boxes would be in a different shape, and this one is actually slightly laid out different with even the packaging on the inside. You can see these two accessories are swapped in each of them. Now I will note that I have not actually found any of these sets in the US yet, although I do know that they're around. Personally, I have only ordered these online. This is a Canadian set, again, as you can see here by the French words, and this one is from Amazon UK. So if you're interested in buying these variant pets and if they're still available, I will put that link down below in the description. Now let's take a look at the other things about the boxes that are different. This one doesn't really have any other languages here on the front. This seems like the most similar to what you would probably find here in the States. It just has pet fluencers. It says the two pets. It says the one code. This one also says one code, but down here where it says pet fluencers, we of course have the other languages to be more inclusive for the other people who live in Canada, English speaking and French speaking. Whoa, what the hell? Um, this box has a printing error on it. What? Wait, they all do? That is so weird. Okay, um, I had no idea. Okay, so both of them have the owl, obviously. It's the owl with the glitter, but on this one, it's like blocking the dog. That is so weird. Okay, well, <laughs> good thing I made this video so I actually noticed that. But then on the other side, of course, formatting is just a little bit different to fit the size of the box, but everything here is exactly the same, even down to the trading card that is pictured on both of them. And then finally, if we take a look here at the bottom, again, the Canadian one just says Basic Fun and Hasbro, and the European one says Basic Fun, Hasbro, and Bandai. All right, so I did a little bit of research off camera, and I guess this is the case for all of these. I have no idea why that's so weird. If you've seen one of these sets and that's not the case, definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, now let's open this set to see what's actually different about the pets. Okay, so before we even go forward with taking these pets out, there is something already drastically different about the way that this is packaged. If you want to see me unbox the other version, definitely go check out my video up here. This is the little backdrop that comes out. We have the card, code, and checklist in here. This is super, super cute. In the larger American versions, this part actually extends, and there is another image of the little backdrop up there as well that's not removable. And uh, excuse the fact that this is not even the same backdrop, but this is what the backdrops in said versions look like. It's just just a simple card. I think this version though is actually genius because it has these little parts that extend. One of them is already bent for you and then you can just bend the other one here so it actually stands up and then you can play with your pets in front of that, which I think is really cool. So already off the bat, I definitely prefer this packaging style. All right, let's continue opening these guys. Again, if you're interested in playing the Roblox game, here's the code that you can use. As for the visuals with both of these, there's absolutely no difference. All right, so here is our first set of pet fluencers with their little backdrop. Looking at the accessories really quick, there is absolutely nothing about them that I noticed that is different from the other version that I opened. Everything appears exactly the same. Now let's get our pets out here. I will start off by just quickly taking a look at this dog because I'm honestly not sure if there will be anything different about this one where obviously there is something different about the owl. So here is the dog 
dog from the European version that we just opened, and then here is the original one that I got. Just doing a little comparison here. I am not noticing a single difference with these guys aside from paint jobs, you know, varying from pet to pet. But yeah, these are definitely the exact same pet. Nothing special about them, nothing different about them. So now let's just take a look at the owl here. If you're not familiar with the other owl, this one probably looks exactly the same too. And it basically is, aside from the key detail, which I already mentioned, which is the fact that this one has metallic paint where this one has glitter, because apparently, and correct me if I'm wrong at all, but I believe there is a glitter ban in some European countries, which is something that I had absolutely no idea about and that also explains why they have the single packs instead of the blind boxes because I guess blind boxes promote gambling and they don't like that over there either so I just thought that's kind of funny but as you can see here on the officially promoted and officially released version we have some glitter in the little ears these glittery hearts and the glitter on the stomach whereas this one it has gold paint you can see it's metallic and reflective so gold paint there in the ears gold paint on the stomach and then some shiny blue hearts as well and it's also cool to see that on this pet because I would love to see some metallic pets in the G7 lineup. I know there is one coming in wave two that I believe has metallic paint. Aside from the glitter and metallic paint details, everything else about these owls is exactly the same. So that is really the only thing to compare here. But I said this in the previous video and I'm sure I've said this in many other videos. I am not a fan of glitter at all. So I definitely prefer the metallic version. Although I do feel like the details don't stand out as much on this one as they do here, especially with the gold paint on the stomach. So maybe from a design standpoint, Point. I kind of do actually like the glittery one better, but just from a personal taste standpoint, I prefer the metallic paint. But anyways, let's move on to the next set. All right, I'm not going to do any more comparisons with the boxes because they are all the same. So now let's get on to opening this next set. As always, here's the code if you're interested in using it, and once again, you can see that these cards are indeed exactly the same because the dolphin in the picture still has a glittery fin, where in reality, this one has metallic paint. But let's take a look at the pets. The image on the backdrop and the accessories that this set comes with are the same, like I already mentioned, and I believe this otter is the same, but we'll just do a really fast comparison. I'll definitely be keeping this otter, though, because the one that I originally got here has a slightly misprinted eye, so this one definitely looks a lot better. But yeah, everything looks the same to me. So now, let's look at the dolphin. You can already see right off the bat this one has a metallic fin but everything else looks the same so let's do the comparison. Here is the glittery dolphin and here is the metallic one. So yeah again you can see everything's the same aside from this. I think I prefer this one better. I think the color of the metallic paint goes better with the overall design than the glittery fin does. Definitely still not my favorite pet but it is cool to have a variant version of it. And now for the final set of the video. It's kind of funny I'm opening these in like reverse order of when I did in the original unboxing video. Once again, we've got the card and the code, and here are the pets and accessories. So I'll put the dog back here momentarily so we can quickly compare the bunny. You know, since this is the third set, I think we both know the drill. Everything about these ones is exactly the same. Although the bunny that I just opened looks kind of dirty on the back, which is a little bit strange. So now let's look at the dog, which once again is going to be different. She has a metallic bow, which I can already tell you I really like. I think it's much, much better than the literary version right here. It's interesting that the metallic paint that they've chosen is a slightly different color than all of the glittery colors that they've chosen as well. And this one also seems kind of dirty. Like, look at her cheek. You can kind of see the paint job is not the best on this one, so I guess I just kind of got unlucky with this set. But either way, she is still cute, and all of the printing here is the same. If you would like a more in-depth review and unboxing of all of these sets, when it comes to the glitter versions at least, again, definitely go check out my most recent video, because I go a lot more in depth with all the accessories and all the pets and my opinions about everything as well. Not the biggest fan of these ones. My favorite pet from any of these sets is the orange labradoodle, which unfortunately does not have a variant like these glitter ones do, but yeah. Well, there you have it guys. That is all that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Of course, if you noticed anything with any of these packages while I was just taking a look at them or while I was unboxing them that you found was different and I neglected to point it out, definitely let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you live in a different country than I do and you know of other 
LPS sets that are completely different. Also share that with me in the comments. I think it's super cool to learn about stuff like that because back in the early 2000s when the initial wave of LPS was coming out, I had absolutely no idea that there were any differences or any variants of pets. So it's really cool to see that variants are starting to pop up again. And I would love to see more in the future, even though unfortunately they are a little bit hard to come by. But again, I'll put the link to Amazon UK down below in the description. So hopefully you can try your luck at getting these pets. This is also really exciting for me because now I can officially say that I have every single G7 LPS from wave one. And I'll let you in on a little secret that I'm sure some of you guys have probably been suspecting already, but wave two of the G7 pets are going to be coming out very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And let me know down below in the comments which of those sets that you may have seen already you are most excited for. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.